Hi guys, here's another one. We've got this uh, Samsung STK40L radio cassette, which I bought off eBay as spares and repairs for fiber. Um, as you can see, the speaker's damaged as the seller listed, as well as the cassette's not working. So I'm gonna have a look at that, and I've ordered it. And as you can see here, it's arrived. Let's give you a quick look at it. Put some batteries inside to test it. And as you can see here, it's a quite tidy machine. And as um, suggested by the seller, the right hand speaker's punched in. So, just testing it. Uh, the radio works fine, it's got short wave, medium wave, and medium wave and long wave, all working fine, as you can see, well, as you can probably hear. Just tuning it here to different channels in FM, which seems to be working fine. Okay, so I have a look at the cassette, it's uh, not working apparently, so I'll just press play here, nothing's turning. You can see the caps done in there, and the take up reels, not moving at all. I'll try to rewind, not turning either, so obviously a problem inside, more than likely the belt's gone. I'm going to have a look anyway. So it's just a matter of... Uh, Dismantling the unit. It's just a matter of removing the volume and the tone of the front knobs and then remove this battery cover because there's a screw inside here. So I'm going to remove the back cover um, lively. And there, all the screws out. I'm just separating the unit here. See, one of the speakers have come away, they're not actually screwed in, they're just holding place. So, here you can see straight, up, straight away there's a belt on the bottom that's obviously for the tape set. So, I've had a look on the internet, I managed to find one for three quid, 3.33. So, I've ordered the set. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting for that to come, I'm going to have a look at this broken speaker cover. As you can see here, it's been punched in at some stage. It's plastic, not um, metal mesh. So I'm just going to see if I can pop it out. Just press it out from the inside. And you heard that click. So this is what it looks like from the front. Barely noticeable. So that'll do, I think, for that. I'm just gonna tidy up the little little bits you can see in there. And that's that. So a couple of days later the belts have arrived. So I've decided to do this outside because the weather's nice. There's just two screws holding the cassette assembly in place once you've taken the cover off. And I'll just undo them here. Get them two screws out. And there's another bit of belt in the bottom here, which I've just discovered. That's another piece of it. Let's give you a close up. And that's a 40 year old belt. Let me show you what it looks like now. It's not rubber anymore, it's just like tarmac or it's gone all mushy and gooey. Let me just show you. Just press that there. And as you can see, it's not a rubber belt anymore, it's just a blob of rubber. That's 40 years old, that's what that's what it turns to. Show you there. You see there? Messy. So what I'm gonna do is um 
I've already undone the screws for the tape mechanism. I'll just pop that back out again. Let's pop that down so you can see it. Just leave it here. Just turn it um, uh, backwards, other way around, so um, I want access to fit the belt. So I'll just zoom in here a bit. Give you a closer look of what I'm doing. So, this is the assembly for the cassette. That's the motor on the right hand side. Pulley's free. And that's the pulley for the capstan. And then this other pulley here controls the um, rewind and fast forwards. And they're all nice and free. So, here's the belts what I've ordered. It's, it comes in a set of different sizes. I'll just try this size here. Seems like the right size. See, that's what rubber belt's supposed to look like. Not all mushy and gooey. So it's just a matter of fitting it around the pulleys, like so. Simple as that. And I'm just going to spin it a couple of times, make sure it's running okay, make sure it's running true. And I'm happy with that. So, it's just a matter of refitting the assembly now that I've um, replaced the belt. And uh, when you fit this in, there's a little um, spring that's going to be hooked in to the cassette me uh, mechanism. Just show you that there, just pinpoint that for you there. That's going to be hooked into there. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to plug the power supply in the back just to test it. And here are the guys so where the, which uh, buttons are which. So, if I start off by pressing rewind, let's get a closer look. See, that's working fine now. Wasn't spinning before, obviously, because the belt had snapped. Stop that, and let me just show you. Uh, fast forward, and that seems to be working fine also. And this is play. Zoom in again. And you can see the take up wheels work running fine. The capstan is running fine. So that seems okay. All I'm going to do is, while I've got it out, is clean the um, the heads, record and play heads. So now that that's done, it's just a matter of putting the unit back together. As you can see, I've managed to uh, put the front cover back on. It's best to remove the tape cassette door. It just pops out, which I, but I put it back in. So I'll just turn it back over now, and I'll just put the screws in. Just reassemble the unit. I'll start by this top screw, and then I'll just uh, do the rest of it lively. Finished, just put the back cover on, the battery cover back on, and that's it there. So now I've just got to test it, make sure it's working okay. First, I uh, switch the radio on, which I've tested before, that's working fine. You've got the stereo light there coming on, so the radio is working fine. So I'll just put it into the tape mode and just eject, and that's the tape there. I'll just give it, give it a try. Press play. Sounds perfect. And that seems to be running fine. So, thanks for watching once again, and please subscribe.